Hey, welcome to the channel. Hey, man, I want to let y'all know something. And this is one main reason why you can't trust certain people and you can't have certain people acting like they riding for you and then instantly jump the gun and chain and like, like, hey, instantly turn the tables. Hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel. If you rock with Young Dolph, throw them Dolphins in the chat, man. Like, real talk, man, I want y'all to really pay attention to what's going on. Finesse two times, he settled the differences last night. Yesterday, y'all gotta understand, he instantly said he was wrong for what's going on. He instantly said that he take full accountability for just the hatred that been going on between him, like both of them. Finesse two times said that he couldn't understand what Moneybag Yo was talking about, but Moneybag Yo still insisted on letting him get on his platform. So he took that into consideration and said that, you know what? Forget everybody that I was riding for. Forget everything that was going on. Like, real talk. I'm finna sign the BGE. Like, y'all gotta understand, Finesse two time, he signed the money bag, yo, label, man. Like, at the end of the day, we know for a fact that he took the lyrics and he was riding for Dolph at one point. But we know that everything changed, man. When, you, when the money is being presented to you and you gotta understand, he signed the code own a partnership deal with BGE. So it's like he own a, like half of BGE, like I say about 25%, that's what it's reading. I want y'all to really look at what's going on, man. This is something that we all know for a fact that we don't, he was riding for Dolph, but at the same time, you can't get mad at nobody. You can't even pick no sides because he was rocking with Money Bag Yo from the beginning because if they wouldn't have never had the fallout, and Money Bad Yo would have never took the lyrics and then put him on the platform. He would have never looked at it from a different perspective. This is something that we all could take into consideration and like really understand the facts of everything that's going on. Key Glock, he cut ties with Finesse two times after he heard about the whole situation. And it's like everybody that rolled with Finesse two times, they looking at him crazy like, they like, how you gonna sign to somebody who did you and Dolph Bogus and you was rocking with Dolph since the beginning? Like, we all know for a fact that everybody know that Money Bag Yo put up 400K. Who won signed to that? At the end of the day, we rocking with Dolph and I rock with PRE, but I rock with Dolph more than I rock with PRE. I wanna let y'all know that the whole CMG camp, they looking at Finesse two times like, yeah, we finna snake you right out the game. Like, we all gotta pay attention and take heed to this man because Finesse two time don't know what's coming for him. And I know he got security with him, but you have to understand his security don't get along with Money Bad Yo or Yo Gotti throughout everything that's been going on. And you know the security was the main one sliding with him when he was sliding on everybody that had something to do with dissing him, dissing Young Dolph, dissing everybody who he really rocked with. So. We know for a fact that we can take accountability for this man and, and look at that like, you know what? We can't be mad at nothing that's going on. One reason that we can't be mad at nothing that's going on is because Finesse Two Time, he can make his own decisions. Like at the end of the day, we know for a fact, if you ran with Dolph, you ran with Dolph. If you're not riding with Dolph, don't act like you ran with Dolph and then try to come back. And no, we not with that. It's strictly Dolph or none, Dolph land or none. Like we know for a fact that everybody, they do what they do. They sit back and look at like, man, money bag. Yo, them got too much going on and Finesse two times gonna end up getting into some beef that he don't want to even see a part of because PRE, they strategic. Everybody in PRE, they strategic with what they do. You see what's been happening, man. So many people got sunk up throughout all this, man. I know for a fact that if we understand the fact that this is a revolving door and we need to open our eyes to the fact that Yo Gotti, he signed certain people to the label, man, and then look what happened. He had them riding for him. Like, I understand that we all sit here and like really wanna, you know, we really wanna just only pick one side, but we gotta take this into consideration that Key Glock, he's sitting back like, yeah, I got something for you. Like at the end of the day, we know for a fact you can't play both sides. You can't sit there and like you ran for one person and then like like pancake, you can't do that. 
at the end of the day, we know that everybody who's included with this Rico indictment, like he's just gonna fit right in because you're getting yourself into something that you don't know what's going on. You was locked up for five years almost. Like we really gotta take that into consideration and really like, like look at this from a whole different point of view because we all know the facts of everything that went on. Like we know for a fact that the whole feds, they discovered everything about the whole Jay Fizzle and Big Moochie Grape and what happened with Finesse two times. That's why he signed to Moneybag, yo. Like we all gotta take heed to this because ain't nobody, including Snoop Bands, gonna ride for nobody who instantly signed or even kicking it with the ops. We know for a fact that you can't kick it with the odds because at any time you can be back door, man. And we know BGE base, he like, y'all know he's sitting back like, yeah. Like y'all gotta understand this, man. They gonna get some bread off that boy all by him signing to them, man. Like we know for a fact he got way better music than Money Bag, yo. They gonna put him right on the shelf. And we already know that MPD not going, man. They sit back looking like, okay, you want to be involved with them. How long was you involved with them? How many times have y'all actually did anything in the public? Like, y'all got to understand, man. And when me and Jay finalized the sale for the documents to see CEO Daddy-O, man, y'all knew that he was going to instantly leave PRE. You know he was going to instantly like half and that's two times feeling some type of way and we can't get mad at from that two times for feeling no type of way because that was money bad yo decision to sign him and it was ceo daddy yo like it was his decision to even you feel me be involved with the finalizing like this is something that we all got to take heed to because if we don't pay attention to it it will cross our mind and marcus thorne he confirmed this man he really confirmed that Finesse two times should have just stayed with one side because people gonna look at him different now that he even crossed over to Money Bag Yo now because BGE is a label that's in tour with PRE. We know for a fact that everybody who played a role in that, include Straight Drop, Cornelius Smith, all the way down to Makita's Raven. Like we know for a fact that People looking at them sideways every time they walk out the house. People looking at them like, man, y'all had something to do with that, man. Y'all study acting like y'all didn't, but y'all did, man. And the receipts is out, y'all. This something that we all can take heed to, man, because I know people around for Dolph more than the people who really around, who even was around Young Dolph. I know people rocking with him and riding with him to the fullest, man. This is something that we all can take notes on, man, because if we don't, man, it'll be the last chance. Like, y'all gotta understand, man, they doing all this against the competition, man, like it's something, man. Hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel, man, for updates.